Hey everyone, Raw Dog Roar here, rocking geek through. And uh, this morning, just had an amazing interview with uh, Julie and Sarah of the Raw Healing Patch. And um, we got to talking about some things that are, you know, really important to me. And something that, you know, I think about from time to time and is, uh, what do I want to do? Like, what do I see myself doing in the future with, you know, the stuff I've learned about raw foods? And uh, for me, the thing that I really, really want to keep doing is sharing and teaching and, you know, inspiring other people and just showing them how awesome it can be just adding more fresh eats to your diet. It's just, it's done so much for me and I've experienced such awesome changes that I really want to share it with people and um, keep doing that, keep doing that, you know, kind of educational work and motivational work because it's nothing without motivation. You got to be inspired to do something for it to make any sense. Doesn't matter if you know how to do something, you got to want to do something. If you don't want to do something, it don't matter if you know how to do it. <laughs> and um, also one of the things that I want to do as far as, you know, going forth with teaching people about, you know, eating healthier is I'd really love to in the future, you know, after we get done doing the trek, all that, finding opportunities to um, talk to teenagers about healthy eating, you know, get, you know, connect with some teenagers that are having, you know, health, different health issues, maybe weight issues. Um, because when I was a teenager, I had some serious weight issues. I mean, I was 262, you know, whatever, when I got into raw foods. But prior to that, in my teens, at some points, I was pushing like 290. I was a very big teen and um, you know I had a lot of depression from it you know not just the actual you know depression from being bummed out like oh there's so many things I want to be doing that my peers are doing that I don't feel like I you know I don't feel physically capable of doing and um, you know there there's a lot of negative emotions come up from the, from eating the way I did and I'm sure a lot of the depression itself and just being bummed out not feeling 100% who I am was because my diet sucked so bad at the time you know just tons of soda and loads of junk food and not much healthy food at all you know I tried I would try sporadically you know sampling healthy foods and it just didn't agree with me and as I know now well, one of the reasons things don't agree with you is your digestive system just might not be up to it it's not that the food doesn't like you or your body don't like the food you just got to build up to it and so in the future what I would really love to do is to you know share some techniques and some fun recipes and ideas and inspiration with with teenagers that are battling with health issues weight issues and emotional issues that come about from you know really poor nutrition that's just something that's you know really you know dear to me and it just like really came about you know really brought it out of me talking about it in this interview and you know it's something I noticed a lot with people in the raw community and just people in the health community in general is when you start improving your life you know by changing your diet adding more exercise getting more sunshine getting more fresh air getting grounded meditating whatever it is you do that really brings you into being you and makes you feel awesome you're gonna want to share that you know people tend to like shout that from the mountain tops and shadow's just defending isabel hardcore over there but yeah shadow chill chill um <laughs> and you know it's, we just gotta watch like in the raw community you know we don't get too preachy about it you know don't get don't evangelize everybody into whatever mode of eating you're into but you know we do you know it's a becomes a passion that you really want to show people hey you know you can change your life you can do amazing things you really do have this potential just give it a shot just go with it you know and uh, roll with it and um, you know you'll notice people changing their their names when they get into raw foods you know I you know somebody someone was uh, Sally now she's Sally does raw you know or you know luckily I had my uh, nickname pinned on me when I was a teenager so I didn't have to dig too deep for mine yay but uh, you know it's there it really changes you when you change your life and you want to help others to change their life too um, so I want to know you know what have the, the health changes you've made what are the improvements to your life and your diet through exercise through eating better um, thinking better you know what have they motivated you to do things could be things that you're doing now could be things that you're thinking of doing could be future aspirations could be like a career like you know you're deciding that you want to really be an educator or you want to be a motivator or you want to be a chef or you want to be in some kind of field that's helping other people to improve their lives 
I want to hear about it because it's just this lifestyle has totally done that to me. You know, it really made me want to get out there and help as many people as I can through the information that I'm sharing and through my story. And, you know, I want to know what, you know, your changes are doing for you and how they're making you want to go out and share it and what, what ways you thinking of doing it. So let's hear about it and let's talk. Peace.